can't look too far in the future or else that won't happen either. And so um, all of us have had um, experience um, mostly being in the situations we've been in and every single game this year in the regular season is its own, is its own battle. And, um, you know, we knew that it's two different parts of the season that we kind of have to go with. Thank you. So you're talking about Kia just being the leader of example. You getting ready to take that? You kind of saw the, uh, the hip there at one point to the that person who fouled you six times on one play and just got a little hip as you handed the ball over. Because um, that's one of the things she does. Yeah. He was talking about she always hits somebody. Yeah, she's definitely the feisty one. It um, goes back and forth with people, but you know, as a leader, she's just that person that you, she's so passionate about the game and she's so involved that we know we're going to get her best effort every game because she's so committed and so, you know, dialed into that. And definitely, you know, we'll take some things I've learned from her and try to emulate that as I go into my senior year as well. Um, you guys ran the table, one other team did too. Um, and I look at them, they're going to be a heck of a matchup if you end up with Mississippi State again. I know you guys don't think that far ahead, yeah. but I know you're not dumb enough not to think of it at all. Um, Any thoughts on those guys? I mean, yeah, they've had a great season, and they're playing really great basketball, and they have a lot of weapons and a lot of people playing at their highest. And I think they have a few, I don't know, is Tim not a senior? No. They have no, a couple seniors who are really trying to finish their year out strong, so, you know, if that game comes, we'll observe that when it happens. I'm sure we'll all be excited to play and motivated, but... Like I was saying before, nothing's guaranteed, and we know that off of last year now, so we really aren't trying to look ahead at all. Thanks. At the first media timeout, I think it was 7-5. Then you came out, went on a big run. What changed out of that timeout? Um, you know, we just tried to get into transition and try to get our defense going a little bit more. Um, our offense was um, not flown sometimes, and when we – when we started getting back into our, our normal stuff and really trying to execute it, it worked well.